Come on. Little fella got his. Precious. My gosh, she's huge. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like winter out. I know. How many of you saw? She got a few hot dogs. Good. Oh. We were living on last night, but we're home, we're like getting home. Yep. From the airport. Yep. We're right to bed. What a great time I had. <laughs> yeah. I was nervous so when uh, Matthews tied the game up with a minute 25 left, I said, oh no. So, uh, so my buddy Brad Marichon, a fellow Nova Scotian, he got the winning goal, first goal of the year, so. And uh, I couldn't get over how many people uh, that rink was. That rink was huge. I never been in a rink that big. It was cold too. I thought they were heated. Yeah. Not. It was chilly. So we had no delays, basically. Maybe a few minutes on our plane, but coming home, but everything went smooth. Yeah. And. We got into Boston and got to the hotel and then changed clothes and then we went to the Prudential Tower and we went up 52 floors. And you get to go outside. I took I took pictures of uh, outside the uh, and videos. So the, I'll put the, I gotta put the videos together tomorrow. Put them on YouTube. Yeah. So you took all kinds of pictures up there. You got to see the city and how big yeah. it was. Oh, it was huge. Not only that, is I'd never drive there. My car wouldn't last six hours and I have it all smashed to pieces. <laughs> but we used Uber and we don't have Uber here. But uh, one thing I like about it, you don't wait. Just maybe a couple of minutes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Nick it and you can, um, and you can watch them coming on the on her phone. See where they are. Yeah. And we went to the uh, New England Aquarium. I see. So, but let's keep going with the first night. So after we went to Prudential Tower, we went downstairs. Yeah. And you ate it. That he got the cheesecake factory experience. Everybody. Yeah. Because he's such a picky eater. I needed to find places where I knew that he would eat the food. And so I knew cheesecake factory. He'd be able to find something. So you got the filet mignon, and we had it butterflied cut, where it would cook evenly. And what did you say about the steak? Oh. Of all the steaks I've ever bought in my entire lifetime, I thought was the best. And I told that guy too, I said, As you guys make the best steaks, and he's not tell the cook that he said. Yeah. And then I had got the had the cheesecake. You had the triple berry bliss cheesecake. Yeah. You really enjoyed yourself in there, didn't you? Oh I did. The bit the highlight was the game. Yep, so Saturday we got up and had a really good breakfast in the hotel. And then we, we rested because we knew that we were going to have a very busy evening. So we left around 4 and went over to the Heritage Museum. Yeah, TD Gardens to the Heritage Museum. You got to see on the way over there some ladies of the evening. Yes. <laughs> i never seen them You've before. never seen a lady of the evening, so he got to see that as we were traveling through the city. Yeah. And then, um, got your eyes full, didn't you? I sure did. And then we went into, I booked us, um, a Heritage Hall, uh, tour. Uh, that's the, the museum there, uh, at TD Gardens that's brewing specific. 
Yeah. And um, you really enjoyed that too. Oh yeah. And then, well, I recognize all the old players that were there. You know. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And then we went into TD Gardens. I guess it was like 6 p.m., like an hour before the game. Hey, hey be nice to Precious. Here. Precious. Hey, stop hey. it. Um, there's plenty of food. And um, it was just uphill from there. Oh, my gosh. He had such a good time. Didn't you? Oh, I know. Oh, they were on strike at the hotel. They were beating the drums. <laughs> Start at 7 o'clock in the morning, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had an employee strike going on, yeah. uh, which Hilton Park Plaza was very deceptive about. Um, they said, it won't cause you any problems. Um, so we uh, immediately, when we got back from our meal on Friday night. They were blocking our way as we went in and then they woke us up at 7.15 in the morning yelling, screaming and beating some Blow drums horns and blowing and, horns yeah. and everything. But we made, we spinned it and made it positive and um, but you really enjoyed the game. We had very good seats. Yeah, oh yeah, I can, I can make out all the players. And yeah, um, we're down close enough. You you got to watch the warm ups, and then you had good people sitting beside you, and I had good people sitting beside me. They were from we, New Hampshire, the ones that sit beside me. Yep, we didn't have any rude people. No. Hello, TJ. My baby. How you doing? Lots of stuff to buy there, though. Yeah. But they don't know how to make a pizza. Yeah, he got, <laughs> he didn't like the pizza. He wanted no. pizza, so I went and bought us pizza and sat back down and. He said it was like eating cardboard. You know, cardboard with a piece of pepperoni on top of it. Yeah. But it, uh, like our pizza up here is made by the, the Greek people, and they they do a real good job. I want to see if there's anybody down below. I think there is. Yeah, I hear some growls going on down there. Where are you guys putting a lot of dogs? There's uh, Bobby. Where? Yeah. So we had a, it was an experience. And they won. Yeah, they did in overtime. Yep, and your guy what did the winning goal. And I had my Marshawn sweater on, <laughs> and he was the one who got the winning goal. Yep. Yeah. But when Toronto come out on the ice, talk about the booze. Yeah. Well, the whole rink just erupted in booze. And then... And they um, didn't like the referee either. Right. He wasn't very good. Yep. No. Let's see, so... Sunday, we got up and had another really good breakfast at the sound of the drums beating on Sunday morning. And then um, we went to the New England Aquarium. Oh, we had such a good time She's to so see. We got to see all kinds of animals. It was just, we, oh, the penguins were just precious. And the sea lions, oh, they were even more precious. And then um, they had lots of aquatic animals. Uh, they had uh, I forget you, what kind And of you were petting a stingray. Oh, I was petting stingrays. <laughs> I wouldn't. So I loved it. <laughs> and, um, I didn't want nothing to do with them. <laughs> and then, um, let's see, what else did we see? We saw these little, they were called dwarf seahorses. They weren't no bigger than one half of my pinky. They were tiny, weren't they? Yeah, there was a bigger one. And then we got to see the bigger seahorses. So electric eel. Oh, yep, yeah, we saw electric eel. That yeah. thing was ugly. Yeah. Oh, big, and, long, about that big around. And then we saw piranhas. 
Yeah. And then we saw... Um, I should have stuck my finger in the tank. You should have <laughs> stuck your finger in that tank. And then we saw uh, sea turtles. Yeah. Um, but different species of penguins, those, that was very interesting. And those uh, sea lions are from California. They're, right. They're just flipping around there in that water. Um, I got videos of them going, so... It was, a, it, if you've been to the, um, the Baltimore Aquarium or the, um, the Georgia Aquarium, which I'm partial to, uh, this aquarium was much smaller, um, but it was nice. Um, the Tennessee Aquarium is about the same size as this one, um, but it, it, it was a lot of fun, and then, um, he loves Ubers. Oh, he just got the biggest kick out of Ubers. Oh, Ubers over, did. over, guys? Yeah, yeah they he And he loved talking to and the Ubers. And they, they didn't know what, they a, raccoon know what a raccoon was. was. No. And then... Um, what's, what's a raccoon? Yeah. They had no idea what a raccoon was. No. And, and speaking of raccoons, look at this sleeping. Yep. Yeah. Well, he's been up here eating for the last two hours. Yeah. Are you sleeping? Are you trying to go to sleep? And Laura and Dawn, thank you again for feeding our precious babies while we were gone. Uh, inside and outside. Um, they fed Connor and Charlotte and Dawn calls her the mystery kitty in the basement. Yeah. And, um, and then they fed the raccoons uh, for three nights for us. Yeah, Donnie said there were so many coming, he said... He thought he was going to get lose a finger. He, he thought he was going to get bit. There yeah. was more coming of the woods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He well, said... A, they got the stairs blocked. He said there was um, about 20 here or more last night. Yeah, when we got home, Scooter was going up the tree. Yeah. And, um... We fed them again after we got home. Yep, we fed them dry food and cereal. Yeah. Hey, baby, what you doing? Well, they're getting fat. Yeah. They're going to be going to bed in the next two, three weeks. <clears throat> boy, oh boy, it's cold out. It, it was... got below freezing last night. Yeah, it did, yeah. And it's supposed to get below freezing tonight, but then it's going to go back up. For the next week, it's not going to fall below freezing again. No. For around a week or so. Hi, baby. I'm hey, just going to bring some cookies out. Yeah. I'll get it. Oh, I got them right here. Because we're out of hot dogs. Oh. He's coming, Woody. Mama's coming. I'll get it, baby. My hands are froze. I know. I don't know where my mitts are. Probably up in the closet. It's cookie time. You ready for cookies? Cookies. Cookie. Call it Cinderella. You want to get the cookies? Cookies. Uh oh. Here you go, sweetheart. Huh? You want to do the cookies? No, oh, honey. How you doing? And throw some. Throw some out to the. Boston. She she was skinny little tiny little thing. She was very confused, and uh, she was jumping up and down, running back and forth. And, and anyway, uh, when we get on the plane, her seat was beside me. <laughs> the 
But I talked to her anyway, but... Uh, yeah, I've had it for an hour. Well, a lot of the times I couldn't make up what she was saying. She had a big mask on, and... Uh, and I said, well, I'm deaf on this side. I said, I don't know what you're saying. And she pulled the mask down. I could read lips, so I was able to get some of it. She got nervous uh, when we hit some turbulence. She grabbed a hold of the seat in front of her. But, uh, those planes, uh, they were tur turboprop. And uh, I've never been on one before. I've been on all kinds of jets and... Uh, they take off and land a whole lot different than the jets. <laughs> yeah. You got to talk to the captain. Yeah. yeah. And uh, oh yeah, she hit it all arranged so that they wheelchaired me to and from the plane. And then when I went to, uh, we we're going through customs in Halifax. Uh, they just. I just right through, didn't I? Yep. Never even get out of the wheelchair. Pretty easy. No. Easy peasy. It's, uh, but I've never been through all this searching and all this stuff. I was, I've never done that before. And take your belt off and your shoes off and get in this thing and go like that. And it was a different experience anyway. I had to put my gloves on, my hands are froze. I mm know. -hmm. But Donnie and them, uh, they did a real good job looking after these fellas. Yes, they did. They, they sent us some pictures and video of them feeding them. Laura was having a good old time, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, she always liked them. So. And she was petting the, the razor, and they razor were coming over to get pet it. I know. Weren't they? Yep. There was one way. big one there, he'd cover this whole deck, wouldn't he? Oh, he was huge. There was two of them like that, and they, were, they looked like they had leopard spots on them. Yep. But, uh, there were different kinds there. They had different color yeah. spots, and um, yeah. There was some white ones and then some gray ones with blue on them, gray with black. But all the videos I took, I'm going to put them on um, on YouTube once I get them all. I have to mash them together. So, take, it's going to take me most of the day. Yeah. Uh, are you eating a cookie? You are. You're having a cookie. He's grow or he's growing, isn't he? Yeah. He's finally putting away. They still got the baby fur though. Yeah. He's coming. Yeah. Hi, baby. What Look you how doing? big they are. I know. They're getting there. Huh? They're growing up. Yeah. Getting big. And they, uh, when we were up in the tower, they had big high glass so you couldn't jump over. <laughs> no. Yeah. I couldn't, could I? I like the toilets. They're jet flush. <laughs> Sound like a jet taking off every time you flushed. <laughs> but uh, I really, I really enjoyed the game. Couldn't have, been, couldn't have saw a better game than we saw. And then, I, how quick that rink, you know, eighteen thousand people. How quick that all is emptied into the street. But we had to walk uh, five blocks. Because the police had the streets all blocked off, and so uh, we had to walk five blocks in order to uh, find a street that the Uber could get into. Yeah. But there was one fellow there that took us. He was uh, 78 years old, lived in Boston all his life, and uh, he took us up to uh, see the aquarium. What is it? I got no cookies on me. You guys got enough to eat. <clears throat> there. Oh God, they're healthy. She just hooked up my electric blanket for me. Yeah. I, I fell asleep this afternoon. I put a movie on, never even saw it. 
woke up, Garner was laying in, in the couch with me. You coming up? Come on, there you go. Come up and find something. All the cookies are opened up, but all the cream is gone. There was a couple of raccoons I had here that uh, they used to buy the can of cream, pull them, and put their nozzle in their mouth. But these fellows get startled by it. Let them up. There. Oh, we found a cookie. <coughs> you found one, did you? It's cold out, isn't it? Yeah, she's gone inside. I don't blame her. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a, there we go. Catch. Whoop. Oh, she's, she caught that for me. Now I can get this off here. There we go. Look at you, you found a cookie. What? Did you find a cookie? You did? Did you find it? Look, there's another one, look. It's not open. Is the cookie not open? Huh? Look at the size of him. He's a good boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> It's cold. Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I took that thing from the chimney. I put it in the barn. Oh, good. That was laying out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I can't oh, see it. My, my glasses are fogged up. I know mine were too. Yeah. When you come in the house. He's your baby girl. <coughs> She wasn't mad at me this time. She was mad at you. Yeah, she's mad at me. <laughs> How dare you go away and leave me after 10 years. Right. Yeah. Mr. Connor. Connor Cat. What are you doing? He's a good boy. Are you a good boy? Are you? No, let her eat that now. Come on, Connor. Come here. Come here, Connor. Here, come on. Let's go. Shake the treat bag for him. Come here. Get a treat. Go get a treat. She got a treat. There he goes. Look. <laughs> he wants his treat. And this is Blanky. Yep. He was sleeping on mine there, Minduo. Yep, he was. He's, he's a good boy. Oh. We had a great time together, didn't we? Yes. We did. Yeah. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah. Oh, that was just such a shock when you gave me that piece of paper with all the stuff on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Never been in the USA in my life. Well, you can't say that anymore. No, at least I know how to go through the, the rigmarole now. Yeah? I, I was getting panicked when that woman come took my cane and took off with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, I don't remember them doing that in Halifax. They didn't. They just ran it through. They didn't check it for... No. No, well, they let me use it, wouldn't it? No, they put it on the yeah. belt. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to say good night then. You had a good time. Yeah. Thanks for everyone's patience for no videos over the weekend, but it was a break that Mr. Blackwood needed. Yes, uh, been doing this seven, seven days a week. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll see you later, folks. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.